Hello, y'all. And I turned this off and then turn it back on, and there we go. And let's make it cooler. There we are. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I usually don't do this, but I have several ideas for this pink shirt. It is a extra large. This is the extra large. The black was a medium. And I will be getting more shirts. Don't worry about that. Especially since I got <laughs> my money um, from resaling. Anyway, that business is coming along very nicely. So, that is going to be supporting this. And it's very supportive. So, I have an idea. This is a pretty... It's like a pinkish red. So, one of my ideas is... These are all unisex, so it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. So, a Bender Boys Reject, which I have a very cool design for. Um, or go girly. Someone put in the comment section a Bad Vitch, which I did like. Um, I just have to come up with a, like a picture with it because I feel like I can't do sublimination, I keep saying it, sublimation on bl a black shirt. I can't do it. Um, at least not yet because I could have got, I can get uh, sublim sublimation pa paper for darks, then I could. Um, and I'm going to, just not yet. So, and right now this paper is for um, lights. I believe so. I'll check again. But I believe it's for lights. Anyway. Um, anyway. So. Either the other two, either, what did I say? Bender Boys Reject, which I have a very cool design for. Bad Vitch, which I don't have a design for. Or, go totally non-goblin-y. And, <laughs> have nothing to do with goblins. And I made a very, very cute cat girl design. Very, very cute with AI. Oh, she's so cute. And she looks like me. <laughs> But she's very, very cute. And I have another one that, that's just a regular cartoon-looking cat girl. So, anyway. Y'all have to put in the comments what you think for this shirt. Um, I do want sort of a more pink color for, like, a really girly shirt. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll pick something. I was going to do... I was going to do the, the, um, another revamped, um, well, G shirt, excuse me, well, G shirt with this. I have a darker shirt too. Well, G shirt. And I do have a picture for well, G. I feel like I'll do that. Because that picture is really cool too. So. Anywho, I usually don't do this. I usually don't do the newer videos, which I'm going to start actually doing. Sorry. And if you see ladybugs, or whatever they are, because there's a difference between ladybugs and whatever else the other shit is. Beetles, whatever the... Be Whatever they are, they all congregate over here, and they congregate above my bed, or just around my bed, which I do not like. So I'm going to come up with a spray to get rid of them, because I don't care about bugs outside. They're supposed to be outside. That's their home. I'm just visiting. But this is my home. Well, this is my domain, and you don't belong here. So... <laughs> Just like sharks, if you don't like sharks and you don't want to be bitten by a shark, don't go to the ocean. That's their home. I, I don't judge animals for being animals where the animal is supposed to be. Like, that's your fault. You weren't supposed to be there. Um, as a human. 
So, and if you get attacked, that's your own fault. Anyway, but if you attack me where I'm supposed to be, then there's a problem. Anyway, William motherfucking Goriho just dropped this, a banger, and I'm going to assess the situation. It's my go. <laughs> Radio channel, you are. I was on too. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, hey what's, what's going on, man? What's going on? We got a call. What's, what's, did you guys call? We didn't call. call. Someone called about Ted's. That must have been somebody else. It wasn't us. Oh, okay. is he here? Yeah. Does he need us? I don't know. He said he was outside. So if he's, well, if he's, he's outside. He's not outside. It could be somebody messing with him, but he doesn't, as far as you know, he doesn't need us or anything like that? Not that I know of. Okay. Alright, um, uh, you want to grab him with the talk to him real quick? Uh, it could be somebody messing with him. I don't, I don't know if he's going to come out and talk to you guys or not. Okay, if he doesn't want to talk to us, no worries. Let's see what's going on with him. I said he has a YouTube channel that people call him. He's, yeah, he's had calls from welfare checks for, uh, exposing himself on him. Yeah. Oh, that's that, okay. He called for him all the time. So. Stuff on YouTube. By the way, for nosy people, this is folic acid. And no, I am not pregnant. I am a woman. I'm not pregnant, though. Don't have a man. Need one to get pregnant. <laughs> anyway. Somebody, like this is a third party, so I don't know. Ow. Get back. Get back. Yeah. Hey man, how you doing? Not good. What's going on? I've been being bullied online for the last seven years. You've been being bullied online? By people on the internet. And I don't want to get arrested, but I want to be honest with you guys, okay? The police and no sort of people in law enforcement have helped us at all whatsoever. We've gone through lawyers, we've gone through detectives, we've gone through FBI. And it's led me to do things on the internet that I don't want to do to stop these people. And I don't want to be doing this shit, but they keep on attacking me. Look how short he is compared to the... And they're actually lower than he is. They're on a step down. He's on the platform. That's how short he is. Him, my family, we've tried going through every legal route we can. And I mean every legal route that we can. I've tried getting help. I've even gone to counseling. I've done all kinds of stuff. Matter of fact, just the other day, I just got done with therapy for the first time in how many years then? Since like 2012. And I don't know what to do. These guys have been harassing me, my family. They've made death threats, bomb threats. If you look on the roof right here, they've thrown paint on our house. They dropped it from a drone. And nobody will do anything to help. And I don't know what to do. I am scared of these. This is a very great way to be thrown into an asylum, and I'm shocked that he has not been put on a 72-hour hold. Just looking at this is insane. This is the ramblings of an insane person. I'm not saying he is. I mean, if you just saw someone saying this to you, that looks like an insane person. Drones. P Marty's who live in, in the, that was funny he didn't know if it was Mishawaka or Chicago it's neither guys I truthfully don't know what to do and if you guys can help me figure this out I will do whatever I can to help you guys these guys are out of state and they are evil ass people they literally have money and have been getting away with doing this to me and several other people and we don't know what to do 21. we really don't we have gone through, like I said, every legal system that we can. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what to do. We're terrified of these people. The main guy in Music Biz Marty, who is no longer on YouTube, he is now on Rumble. He uh, he targets people like myself. Okay. He's, he sees people like me that, like, you know, that look different. He sees people like me as an easy target that he can make money off of and attack and go after. Okay. He does, he's done this to me. I've watched several friends of mine go through this. I've watched people like myself end their lives because of this guy. The fr your friends went through it because you put them in front of the trolls. You m put an X on their back to keep the trolls away from you.
You sacrificed them. You didn't care. And nobody's ended their life over what anybody's doing to you. Just, just a few years ago, I, and I haven't done it since, and thank God for my family for this, but a few years ago, I attempted to take my own life two different times because of this guy. I can't believe he said that to them. Because it's false. And now everybody has evidence of the phony sewer slide attempts with the screwdriver and all this other stuff. Plus that incident where it's fake. It's emotional blackmail. That's what you do, Goblin, is emotional blackmail, which is abuse. It's abusive to threaten sewer slide to, to, to basically make someone do what you want them to do. That's abuse. That's what the people in domestic violence do. That's what stalkers will do. That's what just abusers do. Oh, if you leave, I'll, I'll, I'll send myself to band world, and it'll be all your fault. That's abuse. And my family saved me from that. They saved me from going down that road. And I don't know what else to do about these guys. Me and my friends every day are constantly trying to figure out what can we do to stop these guys, because these guys are online. They are constantly harassing him, calling him. How many times would you say they call your phone? He doesn't even care. Ed doesn't even care. He's just so over it. How did his number get online? Was it the goblin who put it there? Because I thought they all changed their numbers. His phone many, many no, times. His, no, his mom got her phone changed. <laughs> In three days, you had the number. Oh, and we don't know how they got it. We don't know. Are you still putting stuff on YouTube? Because you dox yourselves when you call the police department and when the goblin has his mother call the police department, you have to give your phone number. So you dox yourself. No. We told you a couple times. No, I've been re I've been retired from that. I've been retired. You said from you're that. gonna stay off of YouTube. Yeah, and I am. But what happened? You on YouTube? Yeah, I'm not on there at all anymore. At all whatsoever. When was the last time you got on? Like last time I got on was literally just to watch something, which was literally just the other night. I haven't been really posting anything or anything like that. But what all this is all? I haven't really been posting anything or anything like that. That means you have. The police aren't stupid. They're not stupid. They inter interrogate murderers and rapists. They're not stupid. If you really were not on YouTube, you say, no, I haven't been on YouTube. I, I haven't, how long have you not been on YouTube? Oh, I, five months. You could, not, well, I haven't really been there really at all. That means you haven't Stayed off YouTube. Now is uh, my girlfriend out so the one that's over in Australia. Okay. For my birthday, she got here for her. Uh, for my birthday, she wanted to say, like, you know, those rich women that are online. Okay, okay. Like those real expensive uh, ones. I'm listening, boss. She wanted to uh, send me one for my birthday. You know, she wanted to send me one for my birthday as a birthday present. And music, this music biz Marty guy has been trying to illegally intercept and steal it by saying that he bought it. I don't get why he said this music biz Marty guy if he knows the guy's real name. Why not just tell the police the, the person's real name? That's what I would do. If, if I believed I was being stalked and harassed and just terrorized, I would have given them their, the real name of the person, not their internet uh, handle. YouTube channel name? Huh? What's your YouTube name? I don't remember. It's been a while. The Cyrax Archives? That's not mine. Right That's there. somebody else. They, they fall from another number. But this, this music, this Marty guy, he, um, 
Like I said, he's been trying to hear Seth and steal the rig. It's here in Ohio. And we've been trying to work out how we can get it to back here because he, what he did was he illegally intercepted it. There's Taylor Zach who actually ended up abusing her so bad that she's right now going through a case to have him arrested. He had the rig put in his name so that I couldn't get my hands on it when the original owner was her so she's the one that paid for it like she was the one that originally paid for it and Lori's going in and trying to illegally intercept it and we don't know how to stop it that's what I'm upstairs talking to them about right now like this how can if I was Ed I would not be out here if his grandmother loves him so much she needs to answer these questions I, I just live here this is not my grandchild I'm not related to this fool. He needs to, she needs to answer for why this is going on and why everything's gone to hell. Get that rig over to here because technically it's not his. It's technically hers and she sent it to me as a birthday present. And we don't know how to go about stopping that. So she's sending something. Where's it coming from? It, it was originally coming from Miami because she ordered it from uh, the Extreme Sim Racing website. For so if somebody sends you something and somebody else is doing the mess with that, they have to reach out to the proper channels to get that thing and, out. And that's, what, yeah, and that's what you You take possession of whatever it is. It's her so, problem that she sent. Exactly. And see, and what happened was the other day she ended up uh, getting sexually assaulted and beaten. Uh, the guy took her phone, locked her and her son up in a room, and would not let them out. Thankfully, one of the only reasons why she got out was one of her close friends. They surely, after this happened, I'm, this is why they're ignored now. Because William said that he has to delay the release of these. Oh, they're surely ignored now. This He, he sounds insane. This This is worse than a schizophrenic. You're, you're not living in reality saying this stuff. Not just saying it, believing this. Ended up just happening to swing by and check on her to see if she was okay. They heard her voice in the back and they went back. God help. Yeah, how, do you, how are you getting this information that somebody was locked up and... On Facebook through Taylor herself, my girlfriend, I was talking to her herself. The reason why she managed to get out was, like she said, a friend of hers heard her in the back screaming. They went back to go get some of their friends and a couple of police officers to help. They got her out of there, and the guy ended up getting arrested. And he got out, but now he's on bail under the condition that he's not allowed around her. And stuff like that, they have court next month. Like, I don't know fully how the laws work. Taylor lives in Miami. No, she lives in Australia. The rig is coming from Miami. She or she made the order over here, and the rig is coming up here from Miami. This, I know he doesn't. Just from listening to this, 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 this creature is enmeshed in so much drama. Women being beaten up and, and locked in closets with their children. Some b boyfriend who work, works in the rice mill is beating up my your girlfriend and, and there's ba bail and people have to stay away from each other. M uh, Music Biz Marty is, is living in Illinois and controlling and pulling the strings. Some William Glory Hole and all of these people. Like, to, to, it is so much drama. That's, that's literally high school. Like, some people want to go back to the age of 18. The only reason I'd want to go back to 18 is to fix some of the mistakes that I made. I did not miss high school. Don't miss my mentality. Don't miss the BS that occurred at that time. Don't miss, because this is high school. This is high school drama. This person said this. This person's doing that. That person's with this person. This person's sleeping over here. This person's having sex over there. This person's not talking to that person because that person did this. And I'm being told this for some reason by these people who I don't know. This is high school. <laughs> It arrived in Ohio like a couple of days ago, and we don't know what to do about it. Where does this dude live? Huh? Where does he live? 
uh, Marty. He was in. Um, he was. I want to say. I want to say either Milwaukee or Chicago. I, so no, it's, no, no, it's in Illinois. He was somewhere in Illinois. He's in. He's in Illinois making these so bogus claims. Illinois, Illinois. He's making like packages in Ohio. He's and making these. What, he, what he's doing is he's going in and filing for a um a lost something claim. Okay. If it's not his name, it doesn't matter. If, well, what he's in Ohio, he won't do anything. He can file what he wants. If he wants to file a lost claim for something that's not in his name, there's nothing that's going to be done. It's not his name. If it's in her name, she sent it to you. Unless he physically goes and takes it, then you get it when you get it. If I want to go in right now and say I lost the package, if it's in your name, you're not going to do anything about it. It's not mine. Right, and that's what we keep on trying to tell him. But he's one of the talking to him? Because we're trying to carry him down your... I really liked and resp respected this black officer. And we need more officers like him. No nonsense. And the guy, one officer who called ch uh, him Chase, those two, uh, these two, that officer and him, were the best officers. No nonsense. Not going to listen to just BS from someone who, at this point, if he really believes this, needs to be in a mental institution. And I'm not even saying that to be funny. I'm, I mean that. He is not stable enough to, to be, number one, forget being online. He, he's not safe enough to leave alone in a house. He's just not. If, if he just believes everything that he's told. Understand that he's legally not allowed yes, to do this. Like I right? believe it or not, I've tried many times. So I've how tried. are you talking to him now? Oh, yeah, he right. keeps on forcing me to get up on panel with him by how is he forcing you to get on panel or by doing stuff you're that's you're not okay, you're like you're threatening you're my family, you're threatening you're my friends, um, doing stuff that's not okay. That's very much illegal. If this guy lives in Illinois and he's threatening your family, how is he? I, we don't know how he does this shit, but he does it. The guy's got money. He comes from, I wouldn't say rich family, but his dad's a very well-known orthopedic surgeon. So he does come from money. Like, he comes from a lot of money, and he's got a lot of people on his side. Like, uh, that William Glory Hole guy. Chess. This dude lives in Illinois. I don't know how he does If he keeps talking to you on social media and you don't want to talk to him, block him. Exactly. That's what he says. Well, when, uh, as far as like taking legal action against him, what can we do to stop him? He didn't even want to hear that. Did you just, did you see that? The cop said, if you don't want to talk to Marty, block him. He immediately changed the subject. Because he refuses. He refuses. Number one, not only is he stupid. He has an addiction problem, and I'm not an addiction expert. I had a mother who was a crack addict, and I had a father who was a crack addict that I didn't know, or whatever drug he was on. That's as far as my expertise go. And brothers who have one who has an alcohol problem. Other than that, I, I don't know. I'm not an expert. He is an addict to the internet. If you, if your girlfriend back with Dever, the Heather who's deceased, had to pry a, a, a laptop out of his hand because he would not stop screaming and yelling over it, that's an addict. What the cop just did is say, basically going up to a meth user and saying, well, why don't you just throw the pipe away? Or... Whatever meth users use, straws, is that the crystal meth you use, like the tinfoil, and you smoke it off the tinfoil? I don't know what the fuck it is. I know crack pipes, and you cook it up on the stove, and all this other stuff. I don't know. What the cop just said, well, why don't you just break your, pipe, your crack pipe? Why don't you just, you know, stop hanging around the, those, those people who use drugs? He can't handle that. That's an addict. He, he doesn't want to hear it. And my thing is, and this cop explained it perfectly, but I'll be quiet. Well, you only have to call where he's making the address from. It's on Facebook. 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 See, we tried that. 
But, like, we actually, they always say, like, call the police in his area. We'll call the police. And, and we did that. To get in touch with the... And see, and we did that. But every time we call them, they say to call you guys. Well, we and, have to contact the people yeah. as to where it's happening at, which would be where he lives. Okay. Yeah. But it's social media, dude. Right. I mean, people are always going to talk on social media. Right. So but like, block him. Regardless of what he says, unless he shows up in Ohio doing something to you, block him. Well, he has showed up here before. Because you told him to come there. You've told people, pull up, pull up. If you're serious, show up. Pull up then. You're, you're cowards, you're weak, you're this. Pull up. And when they pull up, you become a victim. You don't like your bluff being called. Because you're really not going to do anything. Except hide behind, talk tough behind your granny's skirts and not do anything. Okay, if he does, then, he, then give us a call and we'll take care of you. Know? All right. But somebody talking on social media, just block them. Yeah, if you have a YouTube channel, 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 there's always going to be somebody the, talking the, on YouTube. Do you know what legal routes that, that we can take to try to put a stop to this? Yeah. Because we've literally gone through everybody we can. Number one, the courts will take a very dim view of you not even attempting to block someone. It's one thing to say, well... Like my situation with the sick person. I have literally have a list that I could print out and show a court. Here's all their, their accounts. They keep making new ones. Okay. And I don't know, really, if you hand on the Bible, do you really know, like, would you, if gun to your head, would you know if that was that person or not? I can't, but I have a very strong feeling it is. Because of the way that account talks to me. What have you. I block them. That's why they're on the block list. The, the courts are going to be like. Well, why aren't you blocking this person? Why are you not attempting to even help yourself? And it's, it's one thing to like. Okay. Like stalking. Sometimes people don't want to block the person. Number one. Because it doesn't work. Now. That's true. It does If you're gonna make fifty billion different uh, phone numbers and a five thousand accounts, is that going to like? Am I supposed to sit online all day and block all of the accounts and not have a life? No. So, okay, the courts would look at that. Okay, fine. I I get that. He won't even try. He won't even try to block. Because he likes it. I'm the police. So you know, on the social this. media talking to some random guy. You see, you try to get a protection on her, but you're on social media going back and forth with this dude. And that's the thing. And that's he, what that cop just said. He has no case. He has no case. He doesn't have a case for stalking. He doesn't have a case for a do not contact. He doesn't have a case for any of it. Because it would be a waste of the court's time. If and he's gonna say if you don't want any interaction, you would not antagonize, and you would not continue to make videos addressing the person. It's one thing like everybody makes mistakes, but addressing the person with slanderous lies to the point. Now you're making them a victim. You're allowed to talk about how you feel, like your experiences or how your emotional state is. That's different. But making videos addressing the person who's allegedly so horrid and slandering them and defaming them, saying they're doing things that they're not, saying they've done things that they've not, anybody would respond. Like, you're undoing all of this. And the court can't really say, well, they shouldn't respond. Well, since they're so evil, they shouldn't respond to being slandered. Because two wrongs don't make a right. And people have to come to court with their hands clean. I'm going to stop talking to you when you're talking to him. That's the thing, though. I'm trying not to talk to him. But you are. You're talking to him. If you don't want to talk to him truly, he would not be on your social media platform. He would not be on your YouTube channel. As far as, as, far as taking legal action against what he's done to me. 
He doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to hear it. Because he's addicted to the internet. Already? What do we do? Because a lot of stuff he's done to me and my family is very much illegal. What has he done? Palm threats, uh, had drones driving in our house, which I don't know if the paint stand's still up there. We can't and it would be lovely. Let's just say they get, he gets, Chance gets his day in court. He's going to be shocked when Marty gets his turn to say all the threats that this goblin has issued against him or launched against him. You have a right to face your accuser in the court of law. What does he think? Marty's not going to be allowed to speak? Or his, his, his uh, counsel will not be allowed to speak? That they're not allowed to show evidence? Like, he, he has no concept of anything. Muffles, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you, I don't know if it was you guys or somebody else, but what I'm saying is police came out. Yeah, yeah. But like, they came out for that, like, with the phone threat, we didn't know if it was real or not. So we were like, we talked about what little stuff we had, we left. Because we didn't know. Are you understand what I'm saying, man? Yeah, I do. I just no, I wonder you are. I actually do. So you're what on, I'm you are on social media. So how? Wait, how can we put a stop to these guys? Because I don't advise you to stay on social media. You have for the last couple years, you've had nonstop issues with YouTube and people going back and forth on YouTube. It's social media. You're gonna have that. You're gonna have kids get on YouTube. You're gonna have grown adults who sit in their parents' basement right, right. and just do stuff all day online. That's what I do. Is. All I want to know is like. What's up? When you get a second okay. All I want to know is like, how can we stop these guys? Because I don't want to deal with this anymore. I want to be able to live my life. You know? And what the cop said is true. Like, all of my, every person, including myself, get to say that random stupid comment from someone. We don't get to waste court time because some person said something stupid. I had a battle on Reddit the other day. Should we sue each other? No. Somebody's going to say something. Even in a face to face. You can't stop that. People have the right to speak. And you're not going to like everything that somebody says. About you. About your favorite bands. About things that you like about you, whatever it is. This life. In most countries, not just the United States, you're allowed to say things. <laughs> you're allowed to say, and actually, like, Germany, a lot of other countries, they're even more blunt than we are with what they say. And more honest with the, they don't sugarcoat it. Like, Asian people are like that. Certain Asian people are like that. Like, you're not going to like what everybody says. You can't control what somebody says. And here's the main one. People like that. And he's just like the freedom of speech extremist. Who think, well, you should be able to say whatever you want to say beyond what the Constitution even allows. So, that's for them, but it's not for other people. He, he, would, he would quickly turn Stalinist, Stalinistic or Stalin-like, and, and he does. It, it's a grand conspiracy because somebody made a look that he didn't like when he was saying something. Like, he, he'd immediately have you, you in the Tower of London somewhere being drawn and quartered. At high noon. Because you said something he didn't like. But he reserves the right to say whatever he wants to. Freedom of speech is a two-way street. The, the, the right to self-defense, which it, there isn't a right. That's a privilege. Gun ownership is a privilege. Is a two-way street. I have the right to see you as a threat. Just like you have the right to see me as a threat. I have a right to defend myself. You have a right to defend yourself against me. It's a two-way street, people. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like I said, you, you, you can block them. I, I'm Either that or, or, or I stay, stay, off, stay off social media. I've actually tried that, but they show up here in real life every time. And it scares me. It scares so when, when they show up, and when they do show up, like, what are you, are you calling? Yeah, we are. We're calling the police, but by the time the police get out here, they're already gone. So what do they just show up real quick? They show up brief. And that goes to show they're not really there to, to do any harm. If someone wanted to send you to ban world, it wouldn't matter if the cops were there or not. Look at any true crime documentary. They wouldn't care if they really wanted to do you harm. And then leave? Yeah. And we don't know what to do. So when they show up, what are they doing? Threatening us. Uh, see how the, how the porch is built? Mm -hmm. they, have, they ordered over a ton of cement to where this almost cracked. They and he was the one who thought it was funny because they got to resell it. So that didn't bother him. Throwing stuff at the house, as you can see right there. Like, I don't know if you see, like, these brown spots on this wall. Mm -hmm. They've thrown stuff there. They've thrown eggs at our house. At one point last year, they uh, threw a brick through the windshield of my mom's car to where we had to replace it. Okay. That was CVG who did that, or his clan of people. And we don't know what to do about this people. Like, these guys aren't just one or two people. This is like literally hundreds. And we don't know what to do because I don't want to end up in jail and I don't want to end up... I don't condone that, by the way. That's not Chance's car. It, it's not. And the house isn't Chance's either. He, he does well enough with his behavior or lack thereof or lack of control of his behavior to get himself put put out. It's, Sally, I think, is about ready to put him out. Ed is, 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 he has no control over it. But Ed would love him to be put out because they, they don't get any rest because of his, quote, music. Or what I call weapons of mass destruction set to a beat. Fighting with these guys anymore. Yeah. I just want to live my life, you know? Because, like, you know, even my friends are worried about it. They're like, dude, like, we don't want to see you in this position. Like, they want to help me as much as they can. But it's like, how do we stop this? Because what these guys are doing is a form of terrorism. You are a form of terrorism. You are a form of terrorism. So what, what can I do? Like, what is, do you have any advice that I can tell my friends on what we can do? All, all we can tell you to do is, like you said, you, you can call the... Because, like, we want to go, like, me and my friends want to go to the legal route to try to stop this mm -hmm. as much as we can. But like I said, we've called police, we've called FBI, we've called detectives. Even Adult Protective Services has been out here, and nobody seems to be able to do anything. And we don't know what to do. Like, we are truly scared of these guys. Have you been exposed to yourself online, though? Not lately, no. No? When was the last time you did it? Literally, like, I don't even remember. How old are you? 34. I you understand, understand the issue with that, right? Yeah, I do, and I completely understand. So people are reaching out to your dad because you're exposing yourself a lot. They're saying that I am, but I'm really not. There's a video of you doing it, and the exact same thing you're wearing right now. That's an old video. But you're wearing the exact same thing. I know, I've, right had, I've had this shirt for about... He's, he, he's such a liar. Such a, just such a liar. About three to four years now. And these, I made these about two or three years ago. Well, this, this one, my best friend Jake and I threw this on here. And then this, I've... Had I don't, I don't care where you got it from. You understand the issue I'm saying here? Yeah, and like I said... So, stop talking. You understand what I'm saying? I do. Okay, so you can't sit here and say, oh, people reaching out to you, saying they're going to beat your ass, threatening you and everything else. Well, when they're reaching out to you because you're exposing yourself well, online. The reason why I did... It doesn't matter why you did it. You understand it's social media, right? You're a grown man. You're saying there's kids on these apps, right? And I apologize. But it doesn't matter. You still did it. We came here for you doing the same thing on YouTube. And I'm sorry. 
I am genuinely sorry. I just don't know what to Wait, do. You it's so gross how he he reverts into a child when it's convenient. He plays the mentally sick game or the mentally ill game. Then he goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like he's three years old and he stole a cookie from the cookie jar. <laughs> he wouldn't have liked living in my household. Saying you're sorry doesn't well, change the fact that some kid can see your video on, YouTube, on social media. That wasn't on YouTube. I know, it's on TikTok. No, it's not. No, it's not. The original video that they showed was from Rumble. Now, can I ask I you something? You, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying here, well, Can I ask you something? Sure. What legal route can they my The legal route? He d he d he's... The police are wasting their time. They need to just arrest him. He he doesn't care what he does to other people. He does not care what, the pain that he's causing his family. I mean, to me, what more would you want? If people were throwing bricks through my mother's and father's car and egging their home and stealing things off of their property or making the porches collapse and then flying drones over, I would leave. And I would not be on the internet. Like, what more does... That goes to say, show not how bad everyone else is. We could talk about that to the cows come home. At some point, who's, who's really the problem? The person who's so addicted to the internet they they don't care the destruction that's happening to their grandmother who's in her 70s home that she pays bills in and he pays none at 34 years of age or disembodied trolls disembodied voices on the internet that's my problem with the victim blaming conversation you can bash someone and trash someone and say how bad they were or what okay okay if you keep getting into the same jams if you keep finding the same people if you keep getting to, into the grasp of demons at some point you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say if everyone around me is bad what does that make me we can't keep blaming everyone else. The garage is having trouble. That's gonna happen is you getting arrested for exposing yourself online. What can I do? You can stop exposing yourself online and stay off social media. I will. You said the same thing about YouTube. Have you been on there lately? No, I'm not. Matter of fact, did you want to? I can get my mom. I don't want to see it. So you you got off YouTube. You got off YouTube and you went on another platform. Not to, to do. do that. No, the reason but why there's video of you doing the it. reason why I originally went on Rumble was to confront Marty because he was threatening my girlfriend. You just said you don't want to talk to him. I and don't. You went on another social media platform to talk to him exactly. because he was threatening my girlfriend. In Australia, lives in Australia. <laughs> the one in Australia. Yeah, he. Ha I don't know how he does it, but he has his ways of threatening because it's social media. Do you understand how social media works? Yeah, I do. How does it work? You're all swearing to You push a button. Well, I push record on with an in shot or whatever this is to do a live stream. Pulled up a video, push play on William Gloryhole's channel. Shout out to William Gloryhole. And I'm recording. When I'm done, I'm going to fix the audio. Make sure everything's the way I want it. Maybe add, you know, words or, or edit the, where I spoke too much or didn't say enough or there were pauses. Edit the video and upload it. But anyone can upload anything. Well, not anything. But you can upload a video that is in line with YouTube's terms of service. I could sit and record my cat licking her paws. Anything. Buffy being cute. Anything. 
that's uh, just push upload. That's how social media works. You're always gonna have people that are gonna hate. You're always gonna have people that are gonna say and do stuff. And I understand that. When I first started doing social media, I did not sign up to get bullied. No, Nobody does. does. But it's but this what, is what we live in. But what, what can I do to better myself? Because I do want to better myself. Stop tonight. exposing yourself online. This is the third time I've told you this. The first time I was school, I've been here twice. For you on YouTube. And people keep reaching out to you because of YouTube because you're doing the same thing. Well, is there any way that I can, like, maybe have you guys in a way, like, try to talk to Marty or talk to my friends or, like, make sure that they, to, like, is there any way that, that I can have you, like, if I can get my friends on a video call on my thing upstairs, is there any way that you guys can talk to them to help them, to help me make sure that I don't do this again? How are they going to stop you from exposing yourself online? You're grown man. If you, don't think, not, if you don't think you can get on social media without exposing yourself, then you should not have social media. Exactly. I can have one. Amen, officer. He just said it. You can't push on an app and and somehow go live. Because he doesn't really make videos. He goes live. Goes live. Without exposing your genitalia, you should not be on the internet. You should not be on the internet. Period. I really do want to stop this. And like I said, I want to be held. You want to stop what? I want to stop reacting to these guys. Like these people have, this has been going on since 2017. And I am definitely afraid of these guys. I have literally watched friends and people I care about get hurt because of these people. Because of you. So is there any way that maybe you guys can help me like work something out to where I'm not in this position? Because I don't know what else to do. Stay off social media. Just stay off of it. Irregardless of this guy reacting and threatening your family and like leave them off. Does Chaz have like a caseworker or anything like that? Or? Because he, he keeps repeating the same thing, saying pretty much that he's being bullied on social media, but as you said, they're reaching out to you because he's exposing himself online. He's not understanding that. I am understanding that. No, he does no. not. And you don't I have a Okay. But what you're saying is... He needs one. He needs one. He needs one. And he needs a caseworker to take him out into the community and get him a job that he can do. He needs a caseworker in, for in the house to help him bathe, to help him brush his teeth, to to get him on a schedule. Either that, or he needs to be inpatient somewhere. I would never do this to my parents, ever. This is not something somebody does who has the capacity to love other people and you should love your family most of all especially the woman who raised you and and basically kept you from i don't even know what being a, a science experiment somewhere in somebody's lab there is the woman you should treat the best but no, you lay hands on her, you curse her out, you threaten her with violence. I have gotten mad at my mom. I have disagreed with my mom, even as an adult. <laughs> I've never laid hands on her, ever. Never would. Never would. Short of her having some type of psychotic break where she went just, just berserk. It would be to, to protect myself and hold her back, but I would not choke her out and, and beat on her. Absolutely not. That's not me having a psychotic break. <laughs> what he's saying is that he needs someone. Seriously, he wants us to talk to his friends so his friends can make sure that he doesn't expose himself online. Does that, does that make sense to you? Okay. And he's saying he can't stop but as you understand he's a grown man and right. him exposing himself online is a big issue right. well you understand what you're saying okay 
I mean, they, you know, these weird things. She just talked to him. Out the window, folks. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. He is in your house. I would honestly, this, what does he use to get online? I don't know. I, I, I know. I know we got a uh, spectrum K internet. Right. Does he have a like phone or is he on laptop uh, computer? What does it say on that one page? On that one? I'm not sure. Something about throwing his laptop or desktop at him. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, if it was me, and he's not listening, um, have you told him to stop exposing himself, stop doing, yeah. stop doing? If he's not listening, I'll kick him off the internet. Okay, well then, you know, he, he's, he's gonna raise hell. He's gonna make other guys worse. You can do that? I mean, at some point, yeah, he's 34 years old? Dude, I mean, understand this. Yeah. Okay, he yells. Like, does he think this is normal? And I get, like, we are the millennials. He's, like, more of a millennial than I am. He's four years older than me. But, does he think this is... And when I say millennial, I understand we've been through so many crises and the United States of A will be... It's, it's financially harder for us than other generations. But, still, does he think this is normal to be 34 years old and live in your granny's attic? And scream on on live streams at people, and not have a house of your own, not even an apartment of your own. Like some people don't want to own home. Fine, don't even own, own rent. Nothing that's your own. Nothing, nothing that's your own. Nothing that hasn't been given to you out of charity, or because f people feel sorry for you. Does he really think that's normal for the average American male. I don't care if you're black or white or or, or or immigrated here. I don't care. Even if you're an illegal immigrant, do you, does he think that's normal for the average 34-year-old male to have nothing to their name? Nothing that they've accomplished. Nothing to be proud of. Nothing. And even if you're a man who's disabled, you have more to be proud of than, than this creature. Nothing. That's not normal. If we were living like in the 1940s, he would be in an, in an asylum somewhere. That's how abnormal he would seem. If we were love, living in the 1940s, I wouldn't be here. But... <laughs> Not racial reasons, because of my heart condition. There was nothing they could do until the 70s. But, er, that's when the heart surgery that I had that helped me live was invented. But, still. Heaven forbid, any earlier. Well, technically he wouldn't be here either. Because um, modern medicine... It's the reason why he's here. It's the, re it's the reason we're both here, actually. For different reasons. Right, Biddy? Anyway. Screams at his mom. That's gotcha. how I get pissed off. Gotcha. But not me going up there. It means not going to help the problem. If we, if, if we take the computer away, we, we've got all everything help. So is he, uh, he doesn't have anything as far as, like, giving you I forget what it's called pretty much he has assigned his rights away to you has no, he no. so he's still he's, an adult. he's able to take care of himself care for himself so actually they shouldn't because anything if you're under legal guardianship anything the person does you're legally responsible for so they shouldn't do that has he allowed is he able to live with himself live, live on his own like he you know he don't make no money. He don't have a job. No. Is he able to live on himself? If he were to, if he were to get a house and somehow it could be paid for, could he live and function on his own? I think he could. Well, at some point, he needs to get out of his dad's house. He's thirty-four years old. Well, I'm not his dad. I thought you were dad. No, no, I'm my boyfriend. Oh, okay. Well, same thing. I mean, this is you guys' house, right? Well, you know, I told him tonight. I said, you know, you can't do that. Well, 
Other people do that. I said, yeah, but other, police, other people don't get the police call now. <laughs> but, but you do have to understand is you can't put your hands on him, though. He's So he's not a kid anymore, so you can't discipline him in the eyes of the law. He's 34 right, years old. Last so. night, last night, he told me he was going to kick me out of the stuff because I went out that room. I told him, you know, listen, we're not I said, go ahead and kick me down the stuff. That's all I want you to do. How does mom feel about this whole situation? You don't have to you go get her. I'm just, I'm just actually asking. Uh, How does she feel about it? She, she don't want. She don't want anyone on the computer, but yet she can't find it. Yeah. She can't take the computer away. Right. So she, she can change the yeah, change the password. Don't give it to him. He wants to. My brother and sister, they're married. They have kids. They literally have controls for their children who aren't like eighteen. That, like, from their phone, they can shut off the, somebody's phone's Wi-Fi. Like, their kid's Wi-Fi. And they can control, like, what apps can work and what apps can't work. Sally doesn't have an excuse. Parents don't have an excuse in general. Like, well, I can't control what... Yes, you can. My, my brother and sister are not anomalies to this universe. Whatever it is that they have, you can control it. They do. You don't want to. They sell and do crazy stuff. Call us. We'll, we'll deal with it. He's a grown man. He's 34 years old. If you can't respect their house, you guys' house, and abide by your, your rule, he doesn't need to be here. Well, you know, I feel like this. I want him to be here seven years. So it's really not my house. They were here before. Did you been here seven years? Yeah. Well, they were here before. You have a lady that you guys are now living together. Her adult son is living with you guys. He needs to. I understand what you're saying. But it's not worth you losing your house where you're, right. where you're living because, you know, we keep on getting caught, right? You know, I mean, the circus between us guys. They're actually bringing down the, the property value around there. I'm not saying they live in a, a lovely neighborhood. I'm just saying, I would not, that landlord needs to get rid of them. Because they're ruining, well not them, well, Sally and Chance are ruining the property value. No one would want to live there. No one would want to move into to, to that area. They wouldn't want to live on that street. Take away trolls. They wouldn't want to, to live there. And the landlord, which I get her side of it, is why should I throw out someone who's paying rent when it's the son who's the problem? She might not even have a home to rent at, at the end of it. I'd, I'd be scared he'd try to burn it down. To I, I don't know. Well, start for uh, East and Manchester, right? So you want what? I don't want to be here. Uh, okay. That's an option. I'm going to call him this. I heard of him. I'm going to call him this. I'm going to call him this. I'm going to call him this. I just got through a surgery from the bank. All right, boss. Just give us a call if you need us, man. You know the options, man, all right? All right, boss. Anyway, that's the video. I'll see you all later. This is going to be up tomorrow actually so